Windows 8 Metroid apps on a Inspire 1. No hacks. Standard 1024-600. Let's see what we can bring up. Headlines. Headlines work fine. Headline netbook. Um, near me. Near me is a bit broken, but it's, well, okay. I don't think it's very usable, considering you can't see the titles at the bottom of it. As you can see, I can do that. Uh, Windows key. What else works? Let's see. Let's see what the weather app looks like. Apparently, weather app doesn't want to load. How about remote desktop? Word. Oh, there's the word hunt. So some of these apps will load. Anyways, Sudoku. Oh, Sudoku loads. Looks. Well, uh, there's an X missing down here and the five buttons missing, so I guess it's unplayable. Um. Yeah. No, that app's broken. Um. Stocks. Stocks work fine. I had the weather app working before. Fix stream. Okay, so a few Metroid apps don't work. Oh, by the way, to go back to let's say Sudoku. Oh, wait. There you go. Anyways, you can get Metroid apps to work on a standard netbook with no no hacks or anything. It's quite easy to do. I used to actually get this one. I had this one loaded once already. It's not working now. But I had that one loaded. I had remote desktop working. Some of these are finicky on lower resolutions. There you go. Metroid apps on a netbook, no hacks required.